the exponential growth of society and technology make it extremely difficult to anticipate what will occur in 50 years, or even just five. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a prominent astrophysicist, has come up and offered his predictions for the year 2050. Although old-school experts expected we'd be riding hoverboards around by now, there have undoubtedly been significant advances in science, technology, medicine, and, and other fields in recent years. What are some of his predictions? Could they actually come true in the future? Let's find out. Stay tuned until the end of this video so you don't miss any information. Astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has compiled a list of predictions for the year 2050 that range from space exploration to our grasp of the human psyche. Not only was it a pleasant surprise that researchers were able to develop COVID vaccines so quickly, but it also represented a significant advance for contemporary research. DeGrasse Tyson believes there is yet more to come, not just in the domain of health, but in many other areas as well. DeGrasse Tyson recently discussed several predictions for the near future while promoting his new book, Starry Messenger, Cosmic Perspectives on Civilization, on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. These included the rise of driverless vehicles, the potential abolition of traditional psychological employment due to advances in neuroscience, and the commercialization of space travel by 2050. Reading from his book, he said, Neuroscience and our understanding of the human mind will become so advanced that mental illness will be cured, leaving psychologists and psychiatrists without jobs. Now, this would be great news, but is this achievable? Understanding the brain and creating more potent treatments for persons with mental health illnesses are both facilitated by neuroscience. However, we also need plans and official suggestions on how these discoveries can be put into practice if we are to translate the numerous neuroscience discoveries into improved brain health and well-being for individuals around the world. In a piece published by The Lancet Psychiatry, we make some recommendations for how neuroscience research may be applied to advance mental health worldwide. The biological causes of mental illness can be better understood thanks to neuroscience, which can also guide future research and therapy efforts. We may be able to combat specific illnesses by comprehending the neuroscience of resilience and developing efficient methods for instilling this resilience and cognitive reserve in others. It is also possible to adapt well-known preventative and treatment strategies for usage in different nations. Although there is currently no recognized treatment for mental illness, the evidence points to the possibility that this prediction could come true if neuroscience development keeps up. Tyson's next prediction states that, in a shift that echoes the rapid conversion from horses to automobiles in the 20th century, self-driving electric vehicles will fully replace all cars and trucks on the road. Startups for autonomous vehicles have raised billions of dollars on the promise of creating self-driving automobiles. However, it seems that several industry leaders and experts are starting to have their doubts about whether autonomous vehicles will ever be able to run without some kind of human oversight. According to Reuters senior correspondent and transportation expert Nick Carey, the issue with totally autonomous vehicles is that robot drivers are just not as quick as human drivers in assessing conditions and making decisions as they drive. Nowadays, a lot of AV startups also employ safety drivers who sit in the driver's seat and act as remote supervisors. Supervisors might be observing video feeds from numerous autonomous vehicles simultaneously while seated hundreds of miles distant. So EV companies will not need a lot of time to completely take over the road with their self-driving vehicles. The next thing Tyson predicted is the human space program will fully transition to a space industry, supported not by tax dollars, but by tourism and anything else people dream of doing in space. This one seems very plausible. Several countries and companies are joining in the space race to Mars and plan to inhabit the planet in the next 50 years. SpaceX even announced its plans to have a hotel on the Red Planet and to take civilians to Mars for a hefty amount. Tyson also predicted that we will develop a perfect antiviral serum and cure cancer. Although there is a considerable potential that we can significantly lower the prevalence of cancer, the occurrence of cancer is now rising worldwide. Cancer patient mortality is somewhat declining, but the rise of incidence is not being offset by the decline in death. Every year, a significant number of new cases are reported, 
And if we are to effectively combat cancer in the future, we must stop the growth. According to the American Association for Cancer Research, there probably won't be a single cure for cancer because more than 200 distinct disorders are classified as cancer. The unchecked cell production that characterizes all of these diseases, with the goal of growing tumors or, in the case of blood malignancies, displacing healthy cells from the bone marrow and bloodstream. Cancers are as different as people are. Even if two different cancers can develop in the same organ, they cannot behave or respond to treatment the same way. Additionally, genetic makeup can make discovery, diagnosis, and treatment more difficult. Tyson also stated that medicines will tailor to your own DNA, leaving no adverse side effects. This one could be plausible. You've heard of antibiotic resistance in humans, which results from taking too many antibiotics that some diseases are now immune to, which makes it hard to cure them. Scientists are also working on medicines that have no side effects, lost limbs, and failing organs, bringing us up to the level of other regenerating animals on Earth, like salamanders, starfish, and lobsters. In a recent interview with Piers Morgan, deGrasse Tyson repeated these views, noting that the concept of limb regrowth shocked him the most. He questioned, why limbs? The astrophysicist answered, you and I are about the same age, and we learned biology in a time when we said, the tree of life, humans are at the top, and we are the pinnacle of evolution. I remember hearing biologists say that, and teachers teach that. Excuse me, white men were at the top of evolution, depending on which textbook you used. Suppose some other animal made that same chart. If newts made that chart, they would say, we are at the top, because we can regenerate limbs. And they would pity humans on the evolutionary scale, because we can't. DeGrasse Tyson remarked, alluding to a cosmic perspective. We are all related genetically, and other animals' genomes contain information about regenerating limbs. According to scientists' predictions, 3.6 million Americans will be living with limb loss by 2050. Despite advances in prosthetic technology, medical professionals are still unable to stimulate human limb regeneration. But researchers have made progress. Levin and his colleagues reported that they were able to cause the regrowth of legs in adult frogs in a study that was published in the journal Science Advances. A five-drug cocktail and a biodome, a wearable bioreactor made of silicone, were used to promote regeneration. The cocktail was created by Levin and the study's first author, Nerosha Murugan, who is currently an assistant professor at Algoma University in Ontario. Its ingredients were chosen to stimulate various actions, such as inhibiting the production of collagen, which results in scarring, promoting the growth of nerve fiber, blood vessels and muscles, and reducing inflammation. The team's initial attempt to find the ideal mixture of substances and doses was likewise this cocktail, which was the first one they attempted. This prediction sounds a little weird, but we're very interested in the development of this. And that's it for the video. Which of these predictions do you think will happen in the year 2050? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.